nothing like coming to Walmart, stocking up your truck. See, I got that Hamilton Beach coffee kettle. It's only 20 bucks since my trip broke. Yeah, I had to get some food, man. I didn't have nothing in my truck. I remember when I was a kid, I used to love coming to get a new video game. A little too old now. Let me get my ass up out of here. I got everything I needed. I got one more thing to grab. That's that pre-made chicken salad. But you gotta get it at the um, in the deli area. It's like 10 bucks. It's pre-made chicken salad. It is good as hell. Since I got my refrigerator, I can keep stuff like that now. This is it right here. But this particular Walmart, some Walmarts got the, the real big one. This little small one right here. I, I need a big one. Uh, spinach dip, ranch cheddar. Well, since they don't have it, I guess I gotta use my brain. I guess I just get, cause the big one is like, it's like 10 bucks for the big one. So I guess I just get like three of these. They're like three bucks. Anybody want to take a guess at how much money I just spent? 60, 70, 80, 100. I think that's like $108. But it's a small price to pay for a couple meals. When I'm spending 10, maybe $10 every time I buy a meal at the truck stop. I'm actually on my 30 minute break as well. So, I've already took more than 30 minutes. I gotta get my ass back on the road. Fucked up parking spot I'm in. Yeah. All the trucks are like that, di diagonal. The best I could do. I, had to, I actually came in right there, busted a big ass U-turn and pulled it in. So when I back up, I'm gonna have to back up a little bit right there to get my front end to clear that. And look, it's another truck pulling up right now. I don't know how the hell he's gonna get in. He's gonna, I don't know. Yeah, this is a tough little, tough little Walmart right here. Oh yeah, since I'm out here, let me show y'all my tarp job. I, I sent a picture of it to my uh, trainer and I did make a mistake. I'm gonna show y'all what the mistake is. And, he, and he, he pointed it out in the picture. Right there. That flap's supposed to be on the inside. And and this right here is supposed to be over the flap. I mean, it's still a pretty solid job though, but that, that flap's supposed to be on the inside. But on the front though, it's different. On the front, it's opposite of, of how the back is. So let me put these groceries up so I can get my ass back on the road. Back to that sign area. That's the problem with the Walmarts, man. The truck drivers using the buggies at the back of the damn parking lot. And throwing piss bottles and stuff like that. That's, that's the problem. Make sure you take the buggies back. Hey, you was right. That guy that told me about that Hamilton Beach commented. Look, that shit hot already. Five minutes. And this thing is 1,500 watts. So it'll definitely work on the inverter, as long as you crank the, as long as you crank the truck up.
have made it, gang. Arrived at Shipper. Remember I was talking about I ain't had nowhere to park at? Hey, don't always trust uh, Trucker Path. Cause I, man, I, I passed like three truck stops, like close to this location. Passed a couple rest areas. I ain't gonna say don't trust Trucker Path, cause trust Trucker Path pretty reliable. But um, it, it didn't show everything. It's that road right there. The co-signees right down the road. No overnight parking. That's where I use Google Earth. And I happened to find this little location. I actually saying on Google Earth somewhere down there, but it's a different business. But I found this little turnaround right here. And I saw another trucker and he told me to park here. Hey, y'all ever get tired of uh y'all ever get tired of me uh drinking coffee on these videos? I know y'all can hear me slurping. Just let me know. But I got a lot of damn tarps on this load. I don't know what happened right there. It's like one of my bungees came off. But uh, I'm about to make it a little easier on myself for tomorrow. And I'm about to take some of these bungees off because I got a lot of bungees on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some off. Got the majority of the bungees off. I got enough up there to hold it down so I get that right down the road in the morning. Since I'm in Foxborough, I'm about to do what Foxborough people do. I'm about to catch an Uber, go to Gillette Stadium. I passed by it coming in, I'm probably about 10 minutes up the road. Beautiful top job. Had to stretch my legs a little bit. Currently outside of uh, Dunkin' Donuts. I walked, I walked about a mile to get here. Gotta stretch your legs out, man, when y'all out there. You, when you're in that truck, man. You gotta get out and exercise. Waiting on my Lyft driver right now. Shout out Lyft for giving me 50% off my next 10 rides. I've been getting those emails forever, but I always use Uber. So I finally downloaded the damn Lyft app. Could have catch an Uber from uh, where I was at. It was like $12. So I said, I'm going to check out this down. I, I said, first I said, I'm going to walk a little bit down the road because I was in an industrial area. I said, I'm going to walk a little bit down the road and see if it gets cheaper. I walked down the road. That shit was still $12. So I said, fuck it. Down, let me download this Lyft app since I got 50% off. So, I'm gonna catch a lift to the stadium, and I'm gonna catch a lift back to my truck. Where this damn Uber driver at? A hell of a sight people y'all gotta get out the truck stretch your legs out we here small town kid from roseboro north carolina i've never been this close to a football stadium 
You gotta love it, man. The life of a truck driver. Flatbed game. It's probably about the closest I'm gonna ever get to one of these football fields. Right and early. 756. Appointment time, 10 o'clock. Y'all know I was already here last night. My appointment time at 10, but I'm pulling up at 8. Simple fact, I'm ready to get these tarps off. The last business on the left, that's where it's at. Matter of fact, it's on the right. My load note says it's on the left, that's on the right. They got that driveway blocked right there. So I must gotta keep going straight. ABC Supply Company, that's not where I'm going. Oh, it's not blocked. Yeah, it's on the right. It is on the right. Load notes is wrong. <laughs> Last business on the left. This shit on the right. All contractors and visitors must sign in at office trailer. Let's get on up in here. Let's see where I'm going good. I think I gotta turn around and back my trailer in. Ooh, this is a tight squeeze. I ain't gonna make that. Back up a little bit. We gotta get this trailer straight. Don't hurt to pull up sometimes. That's what you gotta do. Go ahead and pull up. One pull up.
When I was in CDL school, I was one of the best backers. I was one of the best ones there. Uh. Yeah, Shaq. Talking about flatbed drivers can't back up. I'm one of the best, bro. I don't just talk this super truck shit, man. I do this shit. Do this shit, man. Flatbed game. Straight trailer. Flatbed drivers can't back up. This disclaimer, I got plenty of space right here to get it done. But you see, that motherfucker ready though. A lot of lot of drivers. A lot of drivers, man, take about 30 minutes just to do that. Let's get it, gang. We're here now. Good thing I took most of the bungees off last night. tarps off now I'm about to take me a quick coffee break come back and get these straps off hey Shad let me hit you back bro I'm taking these straps off I'm a dog shack. I'm a dog shack from over there at, at Swift. Still, still, still wish I was fucking training. That's what Swift stand for. Hey, hey, I ain't no Swift hater. I just seen that online. <laughs> I like seeing them uh, Swift, Swift acronyms up there. Damn, if y'all, I don't know. I'm gonna try it on the next one. I'm gonna try it on the next one. These things. Look at this. Ah, shit. No, I can't do it. They're not that. I, I almost had it though. They're not that tight. It's ins insulation. Y'all see the V boards up there? Yeah, I couldn't tighten these down that bad, that hard, man. Because it was digging into the insulation. I had to just uh just tighten. Yeah man, when I picked this load up, I started tightening them up. And then I looked up. And good thing I looked up. Because when I looked up, it's like um you can see the straps. They were starting to dig in the insulation. 
And you know what's crazy? When I was with my trainer, Mr. Jerry, the last load we picked up, we picked up a load out of Florida, heading to uh, Minnesota. It was a load of the same stuff. But the company that we, that we picked it up from, they they actually came and tightened up the straps. Yeah, the guy come over there and, and uh, you put the bar in and he, and the guy fucking, the guy, uh, tightens it up how far he wants it. They didn't do that at this cut. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this insulation, man. I hate I hate to get the damn load rejected. I was at the Flying J the other night and I was getting me something to eat. And this older guy, he came and sat down beside me. And he was like, um, he was like, you flatbed? I was like, yes sir. And he was like, I can tell by the clothes. <laughs> I said, yeah, man. I took, I went and took a shower and put the same clothes back on. The same, the same jeans and the same, uh, we, I changed my underwear, everything like that. I changed my underwear, my socks, my t-shirt, but I put the same pair of jeans on. But anyway, the reason I brought his name up is because uh, he was talking about flatbed he was telling me about his day and he was like he'd been flatbedding for uh about 30 years and that was the first time he ever got a load rejected because he said he had he had a tarp on it but he said um when he picked he said when he first picked it up he picked it up from new core steel and i've been to new course but he said they got them all over but he said he picked it up from new core steel he said they had it sitting in the rain when he picked it up and they loaded it on him. They loaded it while it was sitting in the rain. And then he put the tarp on it. So when he got to where he was going, it had rust on it. And he was like, so they rejected it. But you know what they did? You know what he said they did though? They went back and checked the camera. And they saw that when he pulled in the gate, he had a tarp on it. And so they were trying to tell them that, you know, when he first picked it up, it was already sitting in the rain. Cause that's common, man. You might go pick stuff up and they might tell you to tarp it. But when you get there, it's already sitting in the rain. But anyway, he said in 30 years, that was the first time he ever had a load rejected. And you know what? I damn, I just started flatbedding. I ain't trying to get my load rejected. I picked this up in um, Missouri. I'm on my misery. I picked this up, and that's a good thing I did because I've been rolling all my straps by hand. So, I'm about to put that thing to work because I got probably about 12 straps up there, probably more than that. And I damn sure glad I got a strap roller. I remember when I was with my trainer. You see how you see how I rolled out? That looked pretty tight. I was with my trainer, man. We had we had used a lot of straps on one load, and uh, we was rolling them up and all that. I rolled all the goddamn straps up. I rolled all the damn straps. This motherfucker came and looked at him, and he said, "You didn't roll them tight enough. So what we're gonna have to do is, is you gonna have to unroll all of them and roll and roll them up tighter." That's what he told me. And I ended up doing it. But me personally, as long as that motherfucker fit in my damn box, it's good. Cause I've been rolling them by hand for a long time. Some of y'all motherfuckers have been sitting sit in y'all ways. That's that's good enough for me right there. Yeah, some of y'all motherfuckers sit in y'all ways, man. That's what you call being senile. That's what that is. I ain't senile. I'm what you call humble. Everything don't gotta be perfect. Ain't no need to roll that motherfucker. Ain't no need to roll that motherfucker super tight and you gonna get 30 miles down the road and use the motherfucker again.
See what I mean? I got a message on the Qualcomm this morning that said, um, congratulations uh, on your 90 days becoming a knight. I get a hard hat sticker that's gonna come in the mail. So guess what? Today makes 90 days that I've been with Milton. And, and also guess what? Today makes 90 days. <laughs> on, my, on my 90th day, this is my first time having a strap roller. I've been rolling all these straps by hand the whole time. Y'all can see in my videos, you see that I've been rolling them by hand. Congratulations on gaining night status in your career at Milton. Today is your 90 day anniversary and we are proud to dub you a bronze knight for your tenure. Oh man, I'm getting a pretty cool hard hat sticker coming in the mail. Y'all proud of me? Am I proud of myself? Hell yeah. How many wrestling fans we got, man? Y'all remember Stone Cold used to be like, give me a hell yeah. Hey, I, I know y'all fuck with me on the haters. We don't give a fuck about the haters. So uh, if y'all fuck with me and proud of your boy for making it to 90 days, leave me a hell yeah down in the comments. How about that? Well, good thing I didn't damage the product. I'll be glad when I get rid of these, boy. Just like that, we gone. I told my buddy Shaq, I said, I said, I already know where Milton gonna send me. I know I won't fall away from him. Y'all see that? New Core Steel, Connecticut. I already knew it. Be my fourth time going there. Slinkies. Unless something changes, it's gonna be Slinkies.